Hello there. Have you ever wondered what it will take to implement BIM in your organization to meet the government requirements to have BIM on all government contracts in 2016? This course demystifies the process. Stay tuned. Um, hello, uh, this is Paul, uh, Paul Ogu, architect. Uh, today I uh, start uh, this uh, new training course on BIM training or the building information modeling uh, tutorials. Now, this is an exciting course uh, for me um, and more so um, exciting as well because um, I think it's uh, a, new a new area in construction that is emerging and um, it is more exciting because really what has happened is in, in the last few years, um, especially in the uh, UK, there is a government target to um, use uh, BIM on all uh, construction projects by 2016. What that has done is that it has um, motivated the industry to check itself and prepare for this new um, uh, new circumstance that is um, about to happen. Now, what is the BIM? BIM, I mean, the full uh, BIM means uh, building information modeling. And these tutorials will address this. Now, if we look at it in the context, in context um, there is a, mis um, a, a, a mistaken perception in the industry uh, about BIM. So, uh, to say, as an introduction, I'd like um, students or delegates to really sort of uh, ask themselves, what does BIM mean to you? There's a reason for this, and the reason is, um, it will be interesting to find out at the end of uh, this course if there is a change in perception um, by uh, students uh, regarding um, if there's a, a difference between what they think uh, BIM uh, means and then um, if there is a change in perception perhaps at the end of the course. And I think it will be interesting to find out uh, what that is. So I'd like you to write down what BIM means to you. Um, just take one minute and write down what BIM uh, means to you. Whilst you're doing that, um, it is interesting, um, um, the f format for this course, um, which I have tried to do almost like a lecture um, studio, uh, um, a classroom sort of, um, to replace a classroom for uh, most students. Now, I think that's insight, um, exciting. Well, obviously, we'll see. I hope the equipment holds together um, whilst we try to uh, uh, to achieve this. So you will finish writing what BIM means to you now, and then I'll just say you. I'll just tell you what is BIM. First of all, I'll start with what BIM is not. Now, BIM is not software. It's not Revit. It's not MicroStation. Uh, it's not Bentley uh, Systems, Archicad. BIM is not that. BIM, uh, software, to some certain extent, enables elements of BIM, like 3D modeling, but it's not. But that is not uh, BIM, or building information modeling. This course will seek to uh, tell you what uh, BIM, is, BIM means. And then uh, we go through, then, um, what are the steps, the necessary steps, to achieve um, a BIM. So what is BIM? BIM is collaboration. It's collaboration amongst design, con uh, design or, uh, consultants and suppliers, including contractors and clients, to achieve a building. In a nutshell, that is what it is. It is the collaborative work that is left out. It's not software, as many um, software merchants 
would uh, let you believe. Don't get me wrong. Software is important, but the BIM process is more than just software. BIM is about collaboration between uh, the members of uh, a team delivering uh, construction or a building work. Now, this collaboration will result in standardized, a standardized process which will deliver uh, information uh, in a consistent and timely manner. The benefits of working this way can include fewer delays and disputes within the team, better management of project risk, and better understanding of where costs are being incurred. So BIM is collaboration, and it's that collaborative process we'll be looking at in, uh, uh, throughout uh, this course. Software is important. Software underpins the BIM, pro BIM process. What if there's something you want to take away from uh, this um, um, course is that the BIM process is more than just software. It is a process that involves all teams working in a, in a manner to reduce waste. That is true BIM. And in this course, we'll be looking at the information that is required to achieve uh, BIM Level 2.